Hello YouTube. Uh, figured you got. Oh, my room looks so messy. It's not anywhere near this messy usually. I've just been like super busy, but I've just taken delivery of this beautiful new guitar, which is a Froggy Bottom. Uh, very bizarre name for a guitar, but um, it sounds amazing. I, I really like it. Um, wasn't particularly looking for this type of guitar. In fact, I was looking at Martins mostly, but I played this in a a store, the North American Guitar in London, and um, had to have it, I'm afraid. So, uh, yeah, it's a, um, well, kind of a concert style, smaller bodied thing, and uh, I'm just starting to do some tests because it's fairly new to me, and um, one of the things I nearly always do when I get a guitar, definitely when I get an acoustic guitar, is uh, I put up uh, this particular pairing of microphones uh, through my Neve preamps, which I've uh, set out, well, fairly flat um, and I was just kind of test recording to see uh, how they respond how it responds really often I'll do things like change the strings or change bits over so this is my kind of uh, a starting point uh, and I like to do it with a recording so that I've got it um, so that I can't trick myself into thinking things are improved or different when they might not be because I find quite often there's a lot of snake oil around and um, you know, sometimes we can get fooled into thinking, oh, that sounds much better than this other thing. And, you know, so uh, this is my fail safe method. Um, it's a, a U87 mic and a, a, one, a 451 AKG. Um, it's not what I always use for recording, but it's what I'm using is kind of a standard. I've been using the same ones for quite some time. Um, and I'm basically, I'm just going to be. Um, playing a bit so I, I might not do a load of questions and stuff so I might not be around for that but I've, um, I seem to enjoy the live thing so I figured um, uh, it might be interesting just to have a play and you can guys can watch me exploring the, the instrument anyway uh, so I'll just do some playing <laughs>
fun, fun, fun. <clears throat> it's really, really weird. I was doing some DIY this morning and I had to put um, uh, holes in a plasterboard ceiling and you get all of this plaster dust. And it's done something really weird to the tips of my fingers. They feel all like grabbier than, um, than they usually do. So sometimes they feel like they're sticking to the strings in a funny kind of a way. But anyway, that's my excuse today. <laughs> There's another one. My last song was called Katie's Window, which was uh, a 
song I sat sitting outside my sister's window uh, back in Tasmania at my you know my mum's house a few years ago. And the first one, uh, yeah, Katie's window was on my first record, which wasn't a great record, but not a bad song. Uh, and the first one's called Tinkerbell, which is not a record yet, but I'm I will do it. I wrote it for it, so I need to uh, <clears throat> finish recording it. Well, record a version of it that I'm happy with, I suppose. That will be the should be the first step, really, shouldn't it? Um, what else do I fancy playing? I'm going to just play all my little party pieces. Uh, sure, I've got one more. I might try that. Um, funny tuning. It's in drop C tuning. tunings like this that it's never right like mathematically right it's always a little bit a little bit more a little bit less than you think and together tuner never seems to say it's right but it but it is um how does this one oh yeah see one of the other things is what i'm finding a bit weird about this is the um um it's missing a couple of frets compared to most of my other guitars so when i'm like right up the dusty and i don't know my ref reference points, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, there it is.
was that halfway through a song and you can't, you've got no fingers free to change it. Yeah, it just went a bit sharp. Next song, I've got that little semitone just behind the. If I press behind the B string, it goes up exactly a semitone. Like that. Oh, what a nice chord. about this guitar that other ones I, I have don't seem to do is it seems to be quite a good all-rounder it seems to be quite good at doing that little I get a bit of a thud thing going on um, and it's got quite a lot of sparkle like the Martin sort of sparkle um, and it's got, definitely got a lot more life than my Maiden guitars you know I still love my Maiden Messiah that's a fantastic sounding guitar particularly for this sort of fan, fancy finger styling sort of thing um, it's really uh, I'm looking forward to listening back in Pro Tools and seeing how it how it compares with other things I've recorded. Um, just try and look at your. Um, I'm gonna. I can answer a few questions if you. If anyone's got any while I'm retuning. No. No questions. It's just a delay. Hardest song I had to play. Um, probably Room 335 by Larry Carlton. Spent ages on it. It's kind of like a, a jazz. for that three three five but I did learn the whole like the whole solo um, practice the life out of it. I was gonna do a lesson but it wasn't quite didn't feel like I really nailed it so I decided against it um, a few people asked about the um, while my guitar gently weeps uh, being pulled the other day and um, yeah it was um, it would appear that George Harrison's publishers won't let any use of the original recordings which is kind of, I kind of get their position really to be honest um, I'm not that surprised but uh, 
it's not that I was playing it or that I was teaching it was covering it, but some of the original recording that I was playing when I transcribed it made it through to YouTube and they, um, they that the automatic uh, you know YouTube thing f figured it out and um, yeah, and that's why I got taken down. But it's a worldwide thing; it's not just like one country or whatever. That's one of my favourite ones. Oh, these are all picks that I don't like. Where's one of my good picks? Sorry, for the crotch shot, guys. Ah, oh, all my favourite picks have gone walkabouts. I don't like it when that happens. Been using these really expensive picks a little while and I've become quite accustomed to them. I, t I mean, I play with all sorts of different picks and I'm a lot less fussy than I used to be. But as I've got the mic up, I was curious to hear what they sound like. the tuner off one of the others. I'm sure they won't mind say, saying that. Though I should do lesson on... Oh! And it just faded! <laughs> That's kind of funny slash ironic cool. Just as I started reading that one comment about what lesson should be requested it disappeared. Sunny afternoon, play Taylor guitar. Sound is... The, the, the only thing about this... YouTube commenting thing is uh, that the comments disappear real quick so I kind of see a few seconds or well, I might catch a comment it's all a little bit flat not that it really matters for solo guitar -y stuff anyway about tuning as I get older. And it never seems to be what the tuner says.
right there. Very good range of sound. a bit harder. New guitar, new neck shape. Finding it a bit difficult to grab over too. Just the neck profile is just slightly wider. You can do it but it takes a little bit more. It's gonna take hands getting used to the use and to the shapes a little bit I think. Just slightly new feelings and all of that sort of stuff. But it'll get there.
it's a fun day. New guitar days are always a fun day. Sorry, I don't, a few people were asking for John Frusciani. I just can't remember um, that stuff. It was just last freight train. I don't know that either. I don't really know that many tunes, hey? I can do a pretend country, like, um, you know. <laughs> mock country that you can kind of do it you kind of know what you're doing but you don't really you know um i'm sorry if I... This, the, the shape of this neck is um, it's making my thumb muscle hurt more than usual, which is a little bit funny. Unusual, but you know, it's not all that bad, is it really? Um, but yeah, it's funny the way different guitars do that because the necks are a little, they're all shaped a little different and they feel a little different and all of that. So um, yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't really be that surprising, should it? <laughs>
It's normally a vocal song that's off my um, record years and years ago called Page 99. It's quite a nice thing, it's slightly arranged, but it's got a vocal, but I'm not of mood, not of mind to sing right now. Um, yeah, Handy's getting really tired. I have been playing a little bit today already, so I'm a, uh, not that surprised. Doing a lot of, loads of acoustic guitar all of a sudden is uh, maybe not such a great idea sometimes, you know. Um, but there's probably time for a little bit of Q&A sort of stuff. Just let me turn tools off, Pro Tools, because uh, I've been recording all of this time. No, come on. No, it is my password. Thank you. Stop. There we go. Otherwise, it'll just be recording f like forever. So, questions. Uh, I think that said the Netherlands, and there's Dominican Republic, Bavaria. Good night. Please do some big love from Fleetwood Mac. I don't know that off the top of my head. How bad is your right hand now? It looks swollen. No, my hand's not, no, I wouldn't say it's swollen, it's just, uh, you know, a bit tight. Um, bedroom recording tips. Um, good preamp makes all the difference, probably. So if you haven't got loads of money, rather than buying like a really expensive mic or something, buying a nice preamp is a good idea. Um, what's the next Neil Young lesson gonna be? Mm. I can't remember. There is there's a couple of Neil Young's songs prepped, I think out on the weekend, maybe. Um, can I plug it in? I can plug it in, but I'm not uh, I'm this record this thing is from my phone. I should turn the camera off a bit because I filmed it with my other camera over here as well, just in case I played anything that I wanted to keep. Um, uh, hello from Argentina. I don't know the door Reaper. I don't know much Led Zeppelin. Well, this the questions are coming so fast I can't even see them, I'm afraid. Some of them are just disappearing. Uh, Rory Gallagher lessons. i uh, love to do Rory Gallagher, but he's, I mean, it's just really difficult, Rory. Um, you know, he's, a, he's an incredible guitar player and I love his music, but it's, frankly, it just takes so long to learn it. You know, if I'm doing a Steve Ray Vaughan solo or something, you know, it takes at least a day to to transcribe it and then sometimes it takes weeks and you know I've spent ages before on uh, on songs and then you know either the lessons haven't been that popular or I didn't feel like I was playing it well enough to be doing lessons anyway so um, uh, many froggies have an ivory inlay on the back no this one doesn't no it's a bit plain uh, YouTube collab something just said I don't know who that was songs more from Keith Richards Funnily enough, what was I listening to the other day and I was thinking I should do that? Um, uh, Keith Richards, um, um, oh, those expensive white, oh, Happy, that's what I was thinking, I should do the song Happy because it's a great track. Um, uh, yeah, you know, I think most people, are, oh, the questions are going crazy. Why did I decide on this acoustic? So, I'm a, well, that's a fairly good question. Um, I uh, I played a, a I'm just going to be straight up with you. I played a Martin the other day that I really really liked in my local music store where I lived, and uh, it kind of started me thinking about getting another acoustic because I've been playing the same acoustic guitars for ten years probably. I've been doing exactly the same like the, the three different maidens. So I started thinking then about getting another acoustic guitar. So I went and tried out a bunch of guitars in um, in London, and uh, the, not many of the new ones really captured my uh, heart, I suppose. Like they're, they're you know beautiful instruments, but none of them just kind of grabbed me and made me go, "Yeah, you're having me." Um, and then I went out to this store. Uh, called uh, North American Guitar, which is full of really nice, expensive guitars. And uh, yeah, and this one was one of the ones I tried. I mean, there was an incredible Martin that I played there as well, a Martin D35, I think it was, which was 30,000 pounds, you know, also, I think. I think that's what they wanted, but that's not what they were gonna get. But I mean, it was one of the nicest guitars I've ever played, but you know, I can't, I can't afford and couldn't warrant, even if I could afford spending that much money on a, on a guitar. and. This sounded so much better and it, fe it feels really nice on the neck. It's kind of new, it's, it's, I didn't buy it new, it's a second hand one. Um, 
which is better anyway. I think acoustic guitars de generally second hand is a better idea. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, and one of the things I'm going to test um, now, the part of the reason I've got this um, uh, mics up and stuff is I got given this thing recently that you put on the guitar that vibrates the strings when you're not there. So like when you when I leave the studio today, I'll put the this thing on um, to put the tone right. Um, you put it on the strings and it vibrates all the strings. And it's supposed to kind of accelerate the aging process of the guitar. So it's one of those things that I did it on my uh, nylon string guitar. And I was fairly sure I could hear a difference, but I hadn't recorded it. And it's one of those ones where it's like, could be psychologically thinking it's made a difference when it actually hasn't. So the, the, the proof in the pudding is always just make a recording and I can listen to A and I can listen to B and you know try and trick myself so I don't really know which one I'm listening to and then um, yeah that's how it goes that's how I kind of tell myself whether it's working or not uh, oh wow and yeah, they, they just go check out what oh, I just can't read them when they're that fast um, Katie's window um, uh, the voice leading in it's really good I, I'm not sure um, it wasn't inspired or anything by anything other than playing around on a guitar literally sitting outside my sister's bedroom in my parents house in Tasmania you know, that's, I don't know where it came from I wasn't even mucking around with that kind of idea um, do I keep any of your tuning other than standard no I don't I tune I tune my guitars around a lot, so I don't tend to stick with the one tuning um, very often. Most of my songs that I've written are not in standard tuning, so, but I don't tend to keep any of them in other tunings all the time, except for um, I've got a Mate and Mini, which I keep in Nashville tuning, which is like the thickest three strings swapped over for an octave higher, thinner strings. Um, so uh, that's one that I, that I keep there in, in a funny tuning. <coughs> um, however, guys, look, this has been really good fun and I really enjoyed doing these little live uh, sessions. Oh, hang on, what is it? How long have I been live? 46 minutes. I've done quite a bit of talking. Should probably play just a little bit more. Um, so I try and do like a part of the, the thing I'm trying to do at the moment is to do an hour's practice on acoustic every day. Um, Especially like a couple of, it's been a couple of years now, which is shocking, but a couple of years ago I decided to stop playing with fingernails and just use the flesh of my hands and I find it, I still find it a little bit awkward sometimes. There are little things that I try to do that it's like I'm used to the feeling of having the fingernails there, but not having them is uh, it's difficult. Um, Just then I was starting to play, it's a classical song by Villa Lobo, so I've got a nail grabbing. And when you don't play with nails, any of the nail grabbing is that's better. <clears throat> um, <sighs> having kids makes you so tired. I've played all of the like solo acoustic original songs that I've got already I think. Should have saved one for the end, hey. Remember that for next time. Okay, you get extra. 
extra point to her that is Jack plays guitar. But knowing a song off my solo record, wow. Um, I'm not even sure I can remember it all. since I played that. I remember that riff. Oh, I, I must, I must relearn that song actually. Thank you for reminding me. And extra points for knowing songs off my early record that I don't like anymore. But actually I don't, I don't mind the record. I just think I wish I'd produced it with a bit more grit and hadn't sung like that. That's what I wish. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it there for today um, and thank you for coming along uh, I will try and figure out how to do this so I can have maybe my iPad here and do proper Q&A uh, while I'm doing this but I've really got to do work on the new website the, um, for those of you who don't know I'm doing a massive rebuild of my website it's gonna be awesome like next level awesome but it means in the next few weeks I have to go through every single lesson I've ever done and update it and make sure that it's all um, it's all happening. Um, somebody's saying go to sleep. There's no sleep for me, not yet. Nowhere near. I've got a what's the time? Oh, it's 4.30 actually. So only another hour until we pick up my daughter and then, you know, hanging out with her is always a day highlight, you know. And uh, well, she was around all morning, you know. Incredible little little human. And uh, yeah, then she'll go to bed, but then I'll probably work. It's just so, so, so little time to get anything done. I end up having to work, all the, you know, at night watching telly and all that sort of stuff. I'm, I shouldn't moan, you know, I've got like the best job ever in the world. I get to play guitar as, as my job, which is outrageously cool, but it doesn't stop me having a being full of a bit of self pity. Oh, I'm so tired, I need some sleep, you know. I, shouldn't, I probably shouldn't, but I do, you know. Anyways, enough rambling on for me. Um, Thank you for joining for me, me for my little experiment today. You take care of yourselves. I'm really sorry, but it seems like YouTube uh, removes the the um, comments. Um, well, after I finish the thing, I can't see them later. So I'm really sorry if you've left a question. I haven't got to answer it. I will figure out a way of doing that. Or leave a question if it's an important one that you really want me to answer. Leave a uh, question after this video on the comments when the video goes back up and I'll try and check them out um, and maybe do another video where I answer some of those. Um, I did a Reddit AMA not so long ago and I'll try and do another one very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye everybody. And now how do I make this thing stop? Is that the little cross button? There we go. Stop. Uh, end. Bye bye.